Hi everyone, uh, this is me, Pound Writer here, back with another video. In this video, I wanna, uh, I just formatted my MacBook Air M1, and in this video, I wanna show you how I usually get things around with Nix. You know, like how I install Nix and basically get the things that I usually use on my MacBook. So and even the configuration as well so yeah let's get started so let me first tell you one thing like right now the i cannot use my anything on this uh, laptop and the sound might get corrupted the sound might not come well but i'll try my best to basically get things good in a in a way that you actually understand what i'm trying uh, what i'm trying to trying to do it right trying to do right now so yeah let's get started first thing i just have to install nix on my macbook which i haven't obviously done this is just stock mac os uh, macbook uh, let me open my terminal uh, if i do nix here no it says command not found which actually expected uh, we can install nix using determinate systems nix installer which is actually a pretty cool nix installer and it has installer as well i don't think you would want to install nix once you install it but anyways let's get started um so they have this pretty much small uh, command which basically gets the nix installer binary into your nix slash nix uh, store and basically it, it downloads everything itself um and um install nix on your system right now i think they have uh right so wait nix nix installer github yeah i think they released this one 0.27.1 uh yeah let's get with this just copy this and inside your terminal paste it it's going to get the binary for r64 dash darwin and basically run the installer uh, i mean the binary all right yeah um password for this yeah what just happened yeah okay yes so look at this so when you use stock installer you know the official installer of nix they have a lot of things to do when you actually install but with this installer by determinate system they have pretty much good ui you know like once you when they have this recipe which you actually uh, read once and it it's going to do everything at itself so i'm just going to press yes here and enter it's going to do everything for us nothing 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 to worry about or anything like that all right now let's just wait for it to finish it by the way uh, after after finishing installing nix on this device i'm gonna install my own d dot files which is on github github.com slash phone writer slash slash nix uh, this is the repository that you might want to check out if you want to see how my configuration is and you know and sort of things uh yeah wait wait for it to finish the installer yeah i think it's already finished let me quit this um terminal instance and reopen the terminal windows q sorry command q all right so if i press nix you know like command nix it should be available in our system now we need git to clone this repository i'm gonna use nix self to get, basically get the uh nix all right so git git on this system we can we can use nix sale nix pkgs stock uh, get to get the git on our system all right yeah it's going to get git on our system now uh it's gonna take a few minutes i think my internet connection is pretty good i don't know why it's taking that much time yeah By the way, in the meantime, uh, let me know you what type of content you expect from me. I am first currently doing my bachelor's here in USA, and uh, the main thing I want to focus on is on Rust, Nix, and NeoVim actually, and cybersecurity as well. Um, let me know what type of contents contents you like and you enjoy from me. I would love to make that you guys actually enjoy. All right, yeah, it's getting the packages from nix packages and you know how nix works so it basically first it grabs the whole nix nix pkgs repository you know, on github.com slash nix os slash nix packages and you know it parses the whole uh, package configuration and gets your binary from the cache you know, cache.nixos.org 
uh, Cassis, I'm sorry uh, if I'm wrong about yeah actually it's this cast.nixos.org I'm not wrong anyway it does take any time so some time actually um, yeah we should have git now uh, we do I'm gonna clone my own repository which is github.com slash songwriter slash nix yep should be here yeah mm, git clone git sorry git clone clone it The another thing I want to mention is I am using pass as a password manager which is actually use, useful uh, I'm using github to basically store my all of my passwords you know um, if, let me know if you like uh, like a tutorial if you would like to if you like me to make a tutorial on that uh, I want to make one anyway yeah now cd into nix I don't want the nix in my uh, home directory so I want I would like to make it back in local and move it to there local next. now I have this configured using just file but you know just is not installed right now so I'm just going to get this reveal command and, and run it right now yeah which is basically going to get the next dash Darwin from github github and and runs with this uh, few argument which is flake which is of course enabled by default when you use uh, nix dash darwin installer from uh, sorry nix dash nix installer from determinate systems and here early moon is my computer's name yeah you know like the flakes name yeah yeah absolutely now what is yeah i want to talk about this in the meantime so i have been currently thinking to make this uh make this space in the web in which you basically get the configurations of nix or nix os users um something like this i'm i'm really bad at css you know but i'll do it anyway right now it's it's under working progress but yeah i'm planning to basically um write a lot of blogs about nix and nix os how things to how to do a lot of things in the meantime and uh, yeah as well as uh, if you are enjoying my content you should make sure to basically support me on coffee uh, i got one coffee i i don't know it was around 11 month ago which uh it's pretty cool that like people when you people enjoy what you are uh, building um it's really good and it's really good and cool to see oh yeah so it takes time actually i'm not going to edit any of the part of this video i'm just going to uh, upload the video as it is right now um, um i hope you guys uh, won't argue on that like the sound will not come good but anyways yeah mm, it's building our next.conf all right okay Mm -hmm. yeah mm -mm -mm. I don't even have logged into my YouTube right now youtube.com slash uh, um, writer all right guys so this is my um, YouTube channel I hope you guys see this um, just make sure to hit the subscribe button because uh, the only thing I am currently doing right now is just making YouTube videos for you guys and study and after that no nothing else man just eating and sleeping um, arc browser oh yeah all right it is asking for me to put my password let's do that yes allow yeah look look how things change in just one second before it was stock mac os right which had dock in here but now if i see here the dock should be oh, wait wait come, give me a minute dock should be here right you know this is how i used to have my os configured the dock should be here i don't like dock 
um, I think I have configured the you know this one the menu menu bar to be high hidden by default but I don't know if this I forgot to push on github anyways oh yeah I should have uh, recast but for recast to be run uh, I need to restart my laptop and um, I guess it's this for now mm, wait recast is here no so yeah I can confirm this like for the recast to be in here it's it installs on home manager it's, it installs via home manager and for home manager to co to work properly I need to restart my uh, Mac OS which basically configures my cell from the base uh, I mean like the environment var variables and all so yeah guys I guess that's it for this video and if you find this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up thumbs up and uh, yeah um if you like my uh, videos like this then yeah it makes you to comment on this like you like if you like then shoot on the comments and i'll see you in the next one guys bye bye